And a welcome to City Field, New York's National League ballpark in Flushing, Queens. Tonight, it's an NL Eastern Division showdown between the Miami Marlins and the New York Mets. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Ready now, number 87. And you can see great numbers the over the past baseman. few games. Number 87. First pitch coming, here it is. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Tucker is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. Who's the one to watch, Dan? Look, Matt, everybody should be looking at the guy in the three spot. He won the home run derby last year. And if you're worried about his power, all you have to do is go back and look at that video. He put on a display, so we know he has monster power. I just hope he runs into one today. Digging in, number 87. 0 for 1 number here in the early going. Here's the first pitch to him. Takes this the other way to right. De La Rosa is there on, and he baby, has it up, for up, the up. up. And he's safe. We'll see if moving up to third pays off for him. He didn't have to tag and go for third, but now he can score a lot of different ways. Doesn't have to be a hit. Digging in, number 87. It. It's been an 0 number for 2 effort for him to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Right. Lays off 1 and 0. Oh. McCormick on third. Feliz over at second. Wilson at first, two out in the inning. Fouled off. No I'm offer sorry, on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, when the pressure starts to intensify, it often feels like the strike zone gets harder and harder to hit. This is a big spot here. Ready with the 2-1. Line I'm drive going, to center going. field. Weinstein is there to make the catch and they'll escape the bases loaded jam. Now with the plate, number 87. He'll hit from the left side of the plate in this matchup. Well, if you're looking for pop, he definitely has more pop, more home run potential hitting from the left side. This is his power side. First pitch on its way. Swing and a liner. Foul. Now, I'm sure these infielders know it, but this hitter can burn down the baseline. So if he puts a ground ball in play, the defense is going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt. I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers. And that's through for a hit. 
And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Dan, after that base hit right there, we're talking about two full weeks of finding a way to be productive and get a knock. Good to think about that. You think how hard it is to get a base hit in a, in a professional baseball game and for him to be able to do it 14 consecutive days in a row. As a pitcher, now you have to just tip right your cap fielder. to this guy. Merrill. Go. Ready on one and two. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Next for the Mets, Scott Quinones. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. From the stretch, the one-two towards you're up, second. You're up, you're up. On the first, and the Mets are going to come up empty here as that ends the inning. Two left for the Mets as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. So striding in number 87 he'll hit from the right the side of the man. batter's box against number the left handed pitcher. Hey not impossible but highly improbable even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy they've got the work cut out for him. Here's the first pitch to him back up the middle and this is going to get on through into center a leadoff hit. Hey excellent job right there leading off the inning with a base hit. We got to keep this line moving. We cannot stop. Nobody can make an out. We have to find a way to put two men maybe three men put some pressure on this defense. Striding in now Merrill Doss. He oh, looked right, to bounce back after Merrill. striking out his last time oh. up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. On to first, and they get the double play. But boy, was he ever upended at second base. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. 5-2 the final score tonight. The Miami Marlins used a three-run seventh to help propel them to the win. Albert Navarro gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Reed Alfonso earns the save out of the bullpen, his seventh of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.